Welcome back to the final episode of Sands of Time. Uh, Tyrannosaurus is going to be a little rough. We got 11 here on these two. It'd be really nice if we could get them into the field right now. I can do 13. What were all the dig sites? 13. 13. All right, no, I'm down for 13 on two. Fuck it, let's do it. Uh, let's finally invest some more points. Very end. He's, uh, I mean, he's pretty cheap anyway. He's, he's our second cheapest employee. Wrong map, or wrong, wrong tile interface element. Get me that. And then when the fossils are done, we can do our Styrax finally. Get them put into the park. Didn't mean to click on a source, but wow, there he is. Look at him, look at him walking through the shallows. Time for my favorite Ceratopsian to make his debut. Uh, I picked Rana, apparently. I'm going to believe that that is correct. Um, favorite Ceratopsian in general, not just in this game. I love me a Styracosaurus. Really cool animal. Really neat ontogeny. Like, different... Um, a lot of different, like, ways their horns can develop. Really cool. Very neat. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, and for the Rex, of course, we have a new skin. Uh, calling it out very early, but yeah. Little Edie? Big Edie? Little Edie? I think it's a Little Edie that's a new one, right? You'll we'll know, because it'll be down way at the very end of the skin list, separated from all the other skins. Because um, they're arranged when they were added to the game, and not arranged by any actual logic. We can definitely hatch the aggressive ones. Uh, that seems fine, as long as it doesn't mess with our dominance, which it doesn't. Perfect. One aggro, Styrak Alpha. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Also, enough to finish this contract we've been sitting on for like three months that I haven't bothered replacing because who cares? The park is nearly completed. And we should have enough money to get Megalodon and our uh, Tyranodon out. Ty Tyranodon, fuck. Tyrannosaurus out. Um, also, could look at getting the Lagoon started. I don't remember exactly how these want to align themselves oh you bitch oh you bitch why well, you gotta be like that and now i can't put this down at all there there can't go that way we can go that way we can go that way oh we can do like a weird little w ooh, ooh wait 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 no 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 yeah 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 uh, if we put in the viewing gallery, oh, it does, it gets weird. Okay. But what if we do this? Right? And then we do, we do something different here in this corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I like it. We're, we're cooking. We're cooking with gas. What are we cooking? I don't know yet. We're cooking something. Yeah, <laughs> something. It's definitely something. What if we did this? Oops. Yeah, and then we do uh, get out of here, get out of here. And then if I... Off. I wish there wasn't like a UI element that popped up here with the radius. I wish it was like somewhere else where the, you'd have to shift your mouse cursor because it always takes me a moment to remember what the fuck is happening. It annoys me. What if I... Eh, we could just follow the angle of the fence. We do, we do one of these. Could move that. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like the idea of like having the fence path here for you to like peek in directly at the Rex. Um, but we need to get our Styracos so I can play with this some more. 
Well, we're waiting for uh, all of the Tyrannosaurus bones we're going to have to dig up that will take. Fuck, misclick. It doesn't matter. Shit. Well, there they are. Styracosaurus. Wow. Yeah, I like the red and yellow with the desert selection of skin colors. I think that's a pretty good look. Um... Well, six should be enough to deal with uh, everything else. I'm going to deal with this later. With that remodel. I might do even more of a remodel down there. We'll figure it out. I do need to get you to sedate the sixth one before he gets really angry at me and does something I know he's going to regret. Like attack a Lystrosaurus, which I'm not even sure if they will. Come on. You can do it. He's the size of a horse. Okay. Fossils. Fungi cephalopods and fungi rex rex and uh, surprise seasoning of parasaur. Doesn't matter who does this. It only matters that we go back into the field. All right. Maybe time for a contract too. This uh, is probably expensive enough that we should still keep making money because we do have Megalodon coming right afterwards. This will be popular. The more guests we can get in the. All right, next batch of Rex. Uh, yes, yes, and yes. Break in sixty percent. Another dig site. Okay, the money is actually dwindling. Did I send? No, I sent the expedition person on that. I thought for a moment that was too much money, but... Well, anyway, this is the redesign for the end of the park. So, we got a nice uh, angular angular path coming off of the amenity area here with a little bit of a mini plaza with a direct decoration and off to the styrax who are all in and happy and then the rex pen is a little bit of this weird angular thing that kind of naturally emerged by putting in the lagoon at the very end happy with how that turned out uh it feels much more natural to like fit this in here as opposed to building a square i'm happy with this i like it um yeah, viewing galleries wherever seemed appropriate. We got a nice little T junction here, heading over here. We got some desert and cactus plants here, because uh, cactuses are like Cenozoic plants. So finally having cactuses in the desert biome, when you get down to the very end of the park, uh, makes sense. Unfortunately, we're out of power. Also, we got a nice little little finale plaza here, kind of for uh, you know exiting the Mesozoic and entering the Cenozoic, and then of course we have to have. The very end, the deepest part of the pat the park, man. We have man. Man himself. Looking on at the dead dinosaurs behind him. Um I might want to change the orientation of these, but at least the concept for that is pretty cool, I think. The kind of the, the angular the angular orientation of them right now feels a little off to me. Um, I do need money. Specification? Try it? Dilo long live. Well, that's a hilarious joke. Unless I have the full genome. The genomes be Maybe. The very oh yeah, I had to turn this off. Oh, I can still look! Wait, I can still check? I do have it. 140, I think that's worth it so we just release it and sell it which also gets us some extra money i can literally just chuck it in the rex pen uh then sell it all right why not yeah it was only 280k to hatch the egg so it's like not an amazing profit but 500k. Uh, yep. One one lonely Rex fossil from the other dig. 
Enough left to clear out some more, though. We're making progress. Uh, uh huh. We're gonna rest. Our Dilo has been released and airlifted over for the contract, and I have done the slightest of redesigns down here. Just wow. I've decided to move the statues to kind of ring the entryway. So you walk down here, apparently directly into the sun. And then, yeah, you pass the Alamosaurus and the Rex. And a tower above you as you exit the Mesozoic and enter the Cenozoic. Although you still have a viewing tower here for the Rex Ben, so like... There's still sort of Mesozoic left, but whatever, man. It's fine. The, the, the boundaries are, are blurry, right? The, the boundary between the Cenozoic and Mesozoic is like right here. So the bones are still in the Mesozoic. It works. Man man got moved. Now man exists down here by this. Um, which also might have like repainted the terrain underneath it. Hold on. Did it? Cactus. Yeah, it did. Weird. Oh yeah, I was doing some, some more tree and stuff here. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, I think this is cool. I like this. I like this like final i think that's like final grand plaza type thing here is kind of sick ringed with the skeletons even the rex like tail clipping through the fence don't look at that though I'm not moving it won't anymore it's good enough deliberate design choice okay i did it on purpose also pretty decent uh kickback for selling a freshly hatched dilo 165 back so it makes that profit about you know maybe maybe 700k maybe not quite 700k but in the ballpark there um it's not too bad oh uh, i never introduced our styracosaurus styraco six so that's the sonoran rana sonoran rana sonoran rana sonoran rana i didn't randomize these did i no i did what the shit five sonoran one single death valley yeah, I was going to say, I thought I saw one different looking one, but I started thinking it was a trick of the light. Only number one came out different. Well, I mean, it's kind of cool having, like, the one outlier in a herd, aesthetically. So good for him, I guess. Also, they have plenty of water, so that's kind of neat that the exhibit worked like this, with this, like, embankment along the back. You could even do, like, heavier fence, or, like heavier fence in the water or something i don't know you can play with fence aesthetics on something like this and do a different fence for the water this one thankfully like works pretty well coming up to the water line it actually makes it look like it's like it belongs there we've also got like the heavier fence down here in this corner too so there's that connection though again every fence in this game is the same height for some fucking reason which is strange and weird this is actually taller the lower security fence is actually taller than the highest security fence this is so gross i hate this i hate i hate this junction point we'll never never look at it again it'll be fine pay for my oh god okay 75 list resource let's go with the modern era we do get uh a few more well okay first off Oh, they're going to be the weird desert trees. Those don't, look, those don't look that good. Palm trees look really good in these planters. I think everything else is kind of meh. So I'm not going to bother with those. We'll leave, we'll leave the sides of the lagoon unadorned because we get to go underneath and put in uh, kelp. So how much kelp do we want to do? I wish, so, I wish this like random orientation thing was a toggle on, toggle off. Because that'd be neat. How much kelp am I actually going to put in here? It's too bad they can't do brushes under underwater. They actually don't work, apparently. Um, I thought this was like a modding tutorial thing. Where like, there was a discussion. Oh, neat. You can actually get the camera to like slip out of the water there for a second. There's like a modding tutorial thing about brushes and lagoons that was like uh, pointing out. I think it was something like like with modded stuff you could put down a brush of terrain um preemptively and then build a lagoon around it to get brush materials like trees and stuff in the lagoon with the mods um but it wouldn't work if um if you did in the opposite order something like that i think 
So there's probably a technical limitation in the game, which is why they didn't do this as a brush. Probably, maybe. Or this is obviously easy because you just slap a model in and who gives a shit? So maybe there's a level of laziness to it. But I'm going to say technical limitations. I think if uh, GW3 doesn't have lagoon brushes, I, I don't know what they're doing at that point. Because, um, like, what the fuck? Oh, neat that you can actually see it like from the surface. Like, it does actually get high enough that you can notice it visually. That's pretty cool. That is, that is neat. Um, can I take the drone for a spin? Yeah. So if you want the whole lagoon to be um, a kelp forest, uh, you get your work cut out for you. Because this, not quick. Well, I could, I could space out uh, some of it more, maybe. I don't know. Okay, interesting. Uh, so we've seen the bug before, right? Where scavengers get stuck, right? They stop moving. They starve. We've seen that with the Segasaurus, especially. We can't dart it. It happened again. And we've seen before, I don't know if this is on the videos or not, but at least on the stream we've seen that we've, you know, sent the medic team to go... Uh, treat the thing. We sent the helicopter to go sedate it, whatever. And then magically it appears sedated. Uh, in this case, I had the helicopter circling for a while, then I sent the medical team over, and little bastard went straight to sleep. So I think it's it's not even from the medical team shooting him. I think just when the helicopter is trying to dart it and it's bugged where it won't go unconscious, the second you queue another order on the animal, the animal status updates, and then the Segasaurus falls asleep. So it looks like it's not an issue that needs a reload. It looks like you can pretty consistently fix it if you have the helicopter dart it, wait for him to starve and drop below 50% HP, and then just have the medical team go over to go heal him. And it looks like that, that se it seems to me that might be a completely reliable way to fix this. He did just die, uh, but that was not, that was this fucker. I even airlifted him in time. This is the second time this has happened, by the way. But the first time I just forgot about it. And that's why he died. Um, this is this time is just bad fucking luck that he was hungry and right there. I mean, what are you going to do? Oh, I never fucking picked the eggs. Um, I threw a few 2022s in here for seasoning. Because we've got, you know, 72 desert ones. We can mix up the colors a little more. Okay, one more expedition. Actually finishes the Rex. Great. With a little bit of algae on top. Perfect seasoning. Uh, we'll do you there. So, lastly, Megalodon. Um, boop. We need 18 genetics. We have... Not 18. You're capped. No other points. So we look for a six. Or it's a six. Faster extraction, $2 million. You gotta be fucking joking. I'm not taking that. One three for this guy. Uh, We're gonna get the Rex out first. We don't have nearly that much money, actually. So we wanna get the Rex out. We wanna get enough money to make sure we can get the Megalodon clone basically right after and then get him specifically. Um. Okay, he's good. Specifically get the Megalodon, like, right after we get him dug up. So we're not stuck dealing with paying for a expensive scientist for far too long. I'm starting to wonder if legitimately I've had this con this contract show up. Great. Oh, no, sorry, this is the other one. More well, still, it, it had this, this contract show up, like, like, way more often than usual. Because, like... The, the, I've never had, I've never felt incentivized to have uh, 75 of an animal in the park before. <laughs> Although I, I adore that this, this enclosure is what it is. Just this little pig pen of Lystrosaurus. Is, it's, it's kind of great. Um, again, like we're playing with infinite lifespans, which is part of it, right? Every time we've done these kind of parks before, these like really big ones, especially, and we've played without infinite lifespans, we've ended up with... Uh, you know, probably breeding 80 to 100 Struthiomimus over the course of the park. 
we just don't actually keep them. Um, so they don't reach these like highly populous numbers. Is every stand of this like five kelp exactly? Because I'm starting to like see the patterning and it's kind of bugging me. Like you can tell, I mean, this gets dense enough here that you can, I guess. So it's just, you gotta find the sweet spot. But it does mean it does have to be like dense with kelp or it'll always look or, like weird. Like, I mean, we could try to leave like a gap in here. This one doesn't look that weird on the side. Let's switch the brush every now and then, I guess. And keep going. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit of fiddling, but I mean, it's looking like something. Can we do this? Ooh, that's pretty sick. Imagine a shark swim by that. That'll work pretty good, I think. Does that just stay down there now forever? I guess so. Realistically, it probably should be. Oh, shit, shark feeders. Hold on. Fuck, do we have a good spot for a shark feeder? Oh, I mean, kind of. I can live with this. We could live with... We could do one on each side. Yeah, everybody gets a shark feeder. All right. You know what? That'll work. These shouldn't be down already, of course. But, like, who cares? It's fine. It's fine. Ew, the sand doesn't adjust. The border of the lagoon remains the border of the lagoon. Lame. Interesting that this also is nice and like a nice little corridor here. Uh, that worked out really well. Hopefully the jeep can get in there and do shit. We'll see. Uh, Rex time. We got to get the T-Rex before we get Rexed. Um... Yeah, no. I'm only going to really do one of these. Little Edie is, in fact, the Rex. Do one of these. Uh, literally don't matter. Uh, I think we were 12. Okay, we might... Oh, but no, it thinks I'm good to go. Okay, well, fuck it. Let's just do that. Yeah, it thinks I'm good to go because it doesn't count the number of scientists we have. So we're not actually good to go. I wonder if I can look up the Megalodon genetics real quick. There's a solution here. Rather than hire the big expensive person we're going to need eventually, look at this guy. Altruistic, 262 recruit cost, 70,000 per minute, five genetics. He's actually uh, pretty, pretty fucking good. So we grab him for at least this. Let's get this done. Uh, the Megalodon, by the way, is apparently 15, which is um, quite a bit. We can actually push this a little bit more on Humble if we want to make sure it's happy. And I would like to make sure it, it's extra happy so that we can like mess with the environment aesthetically. So we need this to be only 14 though. So we're not guaranteed. Uh, is this still thirsty? It is still thirsty. That's fine. 5, 10, 4. All right. We'll get this done, and then we'll check the Megalodon research. We'll do that if we can, and then we'll worry about the absurd genetics and welfare requirements of the Megalodon uh, later when the time comes for the Meg. Also, uh, let me spend the next 10 minutes putting kelp in. Wrong, like, uh... it's, the, it's the contract I thought we were taking yeah. last time. 78? Lystrosaurus now. Yep, let's do it. Um, Lystrosaurus, 78. Go. And the Rex is just about done. Okay, okay, but why? Are you goading? What are you doing? Well, you're just bad at your job, which is living. It's something you should probably be better at, because, like, it's all you do is live. Except you don't seem very interested in that. Uh, Tyrannosaurus, we dig it too. Aggressive antisocial and tall. Antisocial humble. I'm just going to take the one, the humble. 
and it's not a four. Fucking god damn you. This game is killing me. I seriously do can't hatch it. Like, why have you done this? Okay. What was it again? 13. I mean, we know because it was 13 based genetics. It's always matches. Welfare matches genetics. Uh, welfare 1 mil 4. Way too, way too fucking expensive. They call it a cheaper research. Uh, not a bad scientist if it would have been, you know, seven hours ago. Buy welfare 553. Five, maybe? Gives us 13. All right, let's rest you up while he incubates. Actually, might not math might not be good on that. We can hire that other one. Uh, shit. And then the Megalodon research, 18. So we don't even have that either. Um, yeah, he's no good. You don't have any points either oh no you're the old scientist anyway you're not the new one who's the new one um it was you damn it this is really annoying uh as much as it pains me i guess we gotta grab this guy uh he doesn't meet all of our requirements he just meets the requirements to hatch this so i'm just gonna do short-sighted wait what three did I? No, he doesn't meet the requirements to hatch this. Wait. Wait. No, unavailable scientist. Does he? Dude, my brain is gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's over. Uh, okay. Yeah, 13. Okay, it's just because she's resting. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, although we just we don't have the genetics to do the research of the Meg, which is 18 on four. Ten or three. Yeah, we're still one point short because this guy is equivalent to this person. Right. So we're gonna get this hatched. ASAP. Actually, what's our profit look like? Not even that bad. We're gonna get this hatched quick. We're going to have to evaluate the scientists. We know exactly what we need from Megalodon. I don't give a shit about Megalodon's genes. So it's like 15, 15, right? I think that's what I said, 15. Yeah, 15. So 18 genetics to research, 15 to hatch. Everybody else can go. Um, the dinosaur business, like any other, can be a killer. Maybe more literal for us. <laughs> that's why we celebrate each success. Okay. So cheers. So, 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 so. Yeah, because, like, basically anybody... We need an average of five on three scientists if, if we're going to do Megalodon. Right, I assume it's not four randomly. Yeah, three max incubation and synthesis. So, if we're... If most of our dudes are only at five, anybody who's a four is on a chopping block. So this cheaper research guy... I think he's gone. No, we definitely fire him. He sucks. He doesn't hit four on welfare. He doesn't hit four in genetics. He doesn't do shit. Right? You're good. You're good. You're good. Um, yeah, you're dog shit. You we need for expeditions, and then you're gone. Same with you. Okay, yeah, yeah, no. So we just we just fire. We fire him. As soon as the egg is hatched, we can hire a new scientist to do the research and then fire them right away. As long as we sell the 15, which maybe we need them, actually. Wait. Yeah, because we won't have shit. We need a six welfare. We need, like, a five genetic six welfare guy to replace him. I don't know, man. We'll hire somebody to fire him. I don't give a shit. Well, with the addition of a few amenities, I've actually managed to increase our income and profit here, even with the extra scientists and stuff. Um, so a lot of the amenities aren't quite perfectly configured. There's a lot of them that have a little bit extra capacity. I mean, I've literally had to like put them in in kind of weird random spots where the demand was needed. Like one drink, one one food, one shopping. That's like optimal placements. And then there's like a partial set here with no extra food. Don't know how that works. It's clearly because like the food here is close to here. 
That's why they don't want a food here. But I don't know where it balances out in the park overall, right? Because, like, 93, 92, 95, these are very close to each other. Probably just proximity stuff. Again, if the menu is too far away, they won't use it even if there's capacity. So. And then hopefully these ones will fill up and support the rest of this. This might be too far away. Um, it probably doesn't matter at this point. This is still that Dimorphodon. No, that's a Lystrosaurus. Okay, is the Dimorphodon alive? Because we had a bug Dimorphodon. Oh, not... Okay. Well, darting him might have fixed him or he was never bugged. He was just stupid. We'll never know. Because I, I never checked. So, I just saw that he needed healing, queued it up, and forgot about it. Alright. Little Edie. Like, big Edie, but grayer. Which is probably why they didn't bother putting it in the original Camp Cretaceous DLC. However, uh, perfectly good Rex skin. Might as well add it. Uh, people wanted it. It's fine. There's no other really way to make, like, another skin like this. So having a different colored variant of it, perfectly fine. Uh, why are you all the way over here when your goat's over there? Friend. 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 Also, that it can be eating a goat, and then still say that there's no goat in the pen is noxious. I'm probably just going to slap down an extra goat feeder because I don't need to deal with this attacking the fences. And then when our territory becomes more sane, we can change it. Uh, I didn't think you're on the beach, I think, that I like. Sand gradients. There's two sand textures. There's the brighter one and then the duller one, and then there's the dirt. I think they look really nice blending into each other to get kind of this like gradual transition. Oh, are you close enough? Nope. Almost. They're almost there. Oh my god, the low health warnings are something else, man. 99% restroom coverage. Amenities looking good. So yeah, we had enough um you know capacity obviously to handle the racks. Actually you can see a nice bump on the uh the usage there guys want a toilet down here despite the fact that i have no power with which to power said toilet yes exactly i'm gonna have to bite the bullet and probably just toss in another power generator um the profit's not that bad so i think we can go for it we also almost forgot need to cut loose our guy am a god wally um goodbye oh my god he's gone so yeah, I guess I'll just slap in a one more, one more small power generator down here in the line of power generators, which is just wild. Um, but we might as well keep doing it the way we've been doing it. Why not? This one gets to actually merge. Actually, almost like perfect placement to end with that one, like coming right in at the junction point there, kind of. So... You know, it was always planned. I rolled once, and we actually got her. Look at this. Five genetics, six welfare, altruistic salary for a still insane upkeep cost. But you know what? We'll take it. Because uh, now we have uh, one, two, three for Megalodon. Uh, hatching, one, two, three for Synthesis. We do the Expeditions, and then we fire you, because we won't need you anymore. Sanguini. I never noticed his name was Sanguini. That's 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 fun to say at least. Uh oh, we got a marsh, but we don't have a cope. Where's our cope to go with our marsh? Missed opportunity. I wonder if cope is the last like okay. Another JW3 spitballing thing, right? If they have staff in JW3, um, which I think they should have staff, but I think they should retool the system. I like the idea of staff. It doesn't make sense having like six staff in a park this size, but like if they do have staff and they still have a personality, uh, could we have more last names that are references to like paleontologists, please? Because I don't think we have any. I'm assuming Marsh is a coincidence um, and not a, paleonto a paleontological reference, but uh, having paleontological references would be fun. Four million bucks. Sure hope. No. Because we fired the cheaper researcher. Uh, 
Well, goodbye, money. I'll miss you. Megalodon is completed. Where in the world is... Wait, Megalodon? That makes perfect sense. Right, isn't Megalodon, like, primarily known from... Or almost entirely known from just teeth? Because it's a cartilaginous... Cartil... That... It is a fish that is mostly made of cartilage and thus does not fossilize well. I think we have like jaws and teeth. And that might be it. Um, is it from anywhere other than uh, the uh, the forbidden state of Florida? I wonder. We'll find out when we see if we don't complete this. It feels so weird to send a paleontological expedition to fucking Florida. All right. We do not get. I don't think this is a new icon right this is just like the mosasaur icon right for sure because it's got like little little hand bones there's no way it'd be a shark um that's a that's a lot of fossils it's a lot a lot a lot of fossils uh it is actually cleaned out no one go do we think that's everything i can check to the database bone valley formation in florida is the only site there are in fact 13 fossils here for megalodon well, that's not true did i misread this oh no that's required i'm bad i'm dumb i'm stupid 10 fossils that's also not correct. Wait. Yeah. Huh, shows 10. It might be some weird thing where there's 10 programmed in, and once you've dug up enough to clone it, it doesn't give you any more. Because it shows that there should be two more of these, two more of the red ones in the dig site. Hmm. So maybe it's possible to, if you do this, um, uh, you can either without, either without the extra capacity or by like, uh, just being unlucky, maybe you don't get all the fossils guaranteed at one go then. Entirely possible. All right. Well, I've gone ahead and I've fully kelped the lagoon. The lagoon is all kelped up. Um, I didn't like put it down over the whole thing. So, cause that was going to be too much. It does peek above the water in the corners a little bit. If you let it, I removed most of it. These get like really close, but aren't actually like peeking out of it. I don't think, I think there's like a weird thing with draw distance too on the lagoon where like the surface of the water slightly shifts. Like these plants really look like they're above the water. And at some point, it's like the camera like like there's like two levels to the water you can't really see the transition which is the weird thing maybe because there's a gradual shift between the two perspectives i don't know maybe i've gone ahead though and put in well there's little bubblers on like the side i didn't know that weird i've gone ahead and put in like different little extra no that's not a decoration that's just another thing huh well i have put in decorations down in kind of like the corners of these um, little like carved out sections of not kelp. Why did I never notice all these like bubbles? What the fuck? Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the shark feeder. <laughs> I had no idea where I was in the water. So fair enough. All right, it's kind of coming together. Not a bad look. Uh, certainly better than most lagoons. Uh, in that I actually bothered to decorate the bastard, and usually I don't. Uh, apparently I still have a bunch of disease to deal with here too, which I probably should. And it looks like we can... Okay, one one way the hell down there. Uh, huh. You, other medical team, take care of this. Do your job, guy. Duty one. I mean, it's got to be done. I guess it doesn't matter that much if I keep the logistics guy around temporarily. Well, also, 4813 versus 13. I could dig up anything with three that I can dig up with him right now. 
I should probably fire him. Because we only do have 2 million bucks. We don't know how much a Megalodon's going to take to make. Um, Alright, let's, uh, let's get rid of him. Uh, thank you for your service, friend. Uh, but the time has come for you to find new employment. Uh, we wish you the best. We'll write you a letter of recommendation. Um, please never come back. All right. Well, let's see if we actually have it done. I guess. Wait. Oh, fuck. Wait, I just didn't have the money at the moment. Well, now I know why there weren't fossils. Wait, what the fuck happened? Why was it? I immediately went back after doing the last dig. Why did it not look like I could do it? I mean, clearly it wasn't completed because... It would be a check mark. I should have realized the color was wrong, but why did I? Why was I not able to select this? Did I just not have the money? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I'm so. Uh, almost assuredly don't have an autosave available. 12.01 a.m. Three minutes ago. No fucking shot. We have a secret savior. Look at that. Our boy Robert coming through at the very end to save me from my own hubris. I totally meant to do that. That was, in fact, actually a cost saving uh, maneuver uh, to consolidate our scientists. And I, in no way, made a mistake that I don't understand how I made. Ah, take that to the, the, the bank and deposit it or something. Okay, uh, for realsies, though, we're done. The fossil discrepancy has explained itself. Everything is good. Um, you. Now, in theory, we don't need you anymore after this. Um, I guess I gotta use somebody else and cut you loose. So, uh, with the park nearing completion here in the next few minutes, uh, we'll be wrapping this series up. I would like to do a dedicated tour video going through the park at some point. And when I do that, I'll probably take that moment to like decorate the edges. I think for this, for now, we're just gonna leave it flat, flat on the sides. Don't worry about it. But I definitely would like to maybe take time on my own separately and like decorate this in a month when I have time to actually do anything. We'll definitely want to like take a little time here too to check out the Megalodon. We're not gonna just release it and then smash cut to credits. Uh, also, also, forgot to say last episode, the Thanatos Dracon is a Coney, Coneyacian, Coneyacian, Coneyacian sounds right. Coneyacian subdivision of the Cretaceous. Pteranodon is Santonian. Styracosaurus is Campanian. And Tyrannosaurus is, of course, Mestrictian. Uh, oh, shit. Fucking family. I totally forgot. Did I do the eggs? I did. I just didn't do the rest of it. Uh, how many do I need? Oh no, I resized the fucking window, dude. I'm dying. I'm dying! Okay, you do this. Do it. Um, did we lose the bonus? Of course we did. It's fine, probably. Uh, okay, let me let me fix the window. Uh, yeah, it's Pestrichian. Cenozoic from Megalodon. Don't know the subdivision. Don't care. It's the Cenozoic. It fucking, it's lame. Cenozoic's lame. We are actually able to get Mr. Megalodon right now. Random, random, random. Let's see what we get. What will our shark be? Nobody knows. How exciting. Um, I guess we slap in humble in case it matters. Except I can't go over 15, so just kidding. Funny joke I just did. All right. Boom. Shark. Shark, shark, shark. Let's go. I'd be way more jazzed about Big Shark if it wasn't a dinosaur game. But it's a dinosaur game, so I want dinosaurs and, you know, other contemporaries and not Cenozoic Sharks. Uh, 
But if this was like a generic ass zoo game and I got a Megalodon, that'd be pretty cool, you know? But here it's like, eh, whatever. Also, exactly 80 list resource is like the perfect number to end on. So that's uh that's good. That's great. Obi-Wan, what are you doing? You're trying to eat a goat. I've good job. That you continue to do well and All right, 80 Lystrosaurus, one one fish. But uh, our sharks seen this before, so you also have my warnings. How are sharks birthed? In the name of science. Are sharks live birth or do they come out in a, like a sack? And if you try, we'll take are sharks live birth? Exactly. Most give birth to live young. Some do lay eggs. Okay, that explains why I had like these two contradictory images in my head. Because they literally do have... Okay, perfect. Humble. We actually got it. Because they do have... And it's a gray shark. How appropriate. Uh... Big money, no whammies, no whammies. Give me shark. I got shark money. Give me the shark. So apparently, I don't really need to fire uh, our buddy, our other buddy, our new buddy, new buddy, new buddy. Yeah, because you were hired. Were you hired specifically for this? You know, you're the one we had the whole time, right? Fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> well, we don't need to fire anybody, so we're not gonna. Uh, it seems fine to me. To just keep what we got. We're profitable. We have cash but we don't need to do that much we actually do need a hotel um shit i mean we don't because like the park is done who cares but it's not it's not completed until i put in the hotel we could put in a small but also why why not just put a large we could just put it like here Oh, uh, how about we just put another one here in, like, the conifer grove? Or the ginkgo grove? Sort of. Right here? Yeah. No, I, I, can, I can fuck with that. Sure. That? Why is that? What is, what is crooked here? Okay, it is the hotel that is crooked. I'm gonna say, is the whole park layout here at the very end gone crooked? Can you imagine my horror discovering that at the end, the last moment that everything was crooked all along? At the end, at least? Oh god. Like an existential nightmare. Eh, just like this is an existential nightmare, please. I know you can do it, just do it. Uh, gate is there. Give me some nice ginkgo trees. Oh, ooh, nice, nice one of these. Actually, yeah, make this whole thing a ginkgo grove. The whole little subsection. Nice grove of ginkgo trees. Yeah. Should maybe use paleo plants more often for decoration. I would, I think I said this in a previous video, expanding the, uh, paleo plants diversity for the sequel would be great even if they don't expand uh environmental needs or anything like that even if they're just decorations like it'd be cool to have more extinct plants all right so hotel amenities are not at capacity so they have a good good spot for a hotel too which is kind of what drew me to this area yeah no i like it i'm happy with it we could even um do a little path through here but then it would get rid of trees so we're just gonna leave it it's fine it's good we don't need to do nothing meg Five goddamn minutes. Oh my god. So, here it is. Shark. Dun dun. Jaws theme. Jaws theme. Kind of. Violence. Dun dun dun. I like the seeing the stripe on the fin there. That's kind of fun. This is actually an interesting looking uh, color palette on this little fella. Little guy. Pretty small little fella, you know? He's not very big. Insert the uh, the Jaws quote about a doll's eyes uh, in here as well. Um, I'm not going to say it because I don't fucking remember it. That, that, that's, that's why. I have finally seen Jaws, actually. 
which shockingly was like less than a month ago, <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, no, solid looking little 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 guy. Great Sandy Calcarana. Calcarana definitely stands out. Shark. Oh God! Oh no! We're seeing too much of the shark. <laughs> Is that his shark tongue? His shark palate? What do we? What do we? What? What was that? How did I do that? How? How did I get inside the shark? Slid in like right behind the eye. Oh, we've repeated it. It's repeatable. It's a repeatable glitch. What if we unpause? Oh man. Shark. Shark from the inside. <laughs> okay, uh, anyway. Listen, Mr. Shark, I need you to eat from a shark feeder. Like, right now. Please. Oh, he's got, like... Cars. He's all, like, chewed up. Like, he's been brushing against the sides of the tank. Or maybe that's just his texture. Are these supposed to be scars or just intended to be part of his texture? Because it looks like damage. It looks. It looks like he's made of plaster and somebody's beating him against a table edge. Like, I don't know. Like he's got chips missing out of him. But it is weird if it is scar tissue or scratch marks or whatever. Anything like that intentional. Um, most... Dinosaurs we have well basically any dinosaur thing that's like scarred is because it's a franchise like unique dinosaur like Toro. The Giga originally of course is uh scarred. And then the variant is based off the scarred model, which is why the I believe the variants of the Giga are all scarred at least. Shark open space. We just gotta wait for him to go eat. Go eat. I do like that he's like just hanging out at the surface. That's fun. Oh, He's diving. Get more barrels on him. Oh god, I can't get out of the lagoon. <laughs> That's like a nightmare too. I'm stuck in here with the shark. No. Alright, well. He's not going to do anything else cool by himself. We could do... We could do a second. Okay, let's do a second. Uh... No promises it's actually going to come out and see it do anything, but, you know. I'm going to wait here for this in the shark feed. I can just queue up a second. He does keep sticking his tail out of the water there, a little buggy. A little buggy, maybe, on that decision to animate like that. I mean, this looks fine, but, like, when it's when it's standing stiffly up out of the water, it's kind of weird. Down amongst the lagoon, grass, kelp. Oh, he's, he is feeding. He is feeding. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'll hatch the second shark. J just to see the skin at least. Canonically, two megalodon in the in the park. Are you gonna... Are you gonna do it, though? He has to eat the shark. It doesn't even require fish. So I haven't even given him fish. Is he going in? He's going in! He's breaching! Hold on. Smile, you're on candid camera. That's what they say, right? Great. Uh, da, 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 that, and this, and slow mo. I love that simultaneously, uh, somehow a car was destroyed. Seriously? Seriously. Seriously? What are you fucking talking about? How did you get killed by Megalosaur? There's like four of them. How have you achieved this? Are you joking? You dipshit. You hurt my Megalosaurs. You made him like stub his fucking toe or some shit on your stupid car. You idiot. My poor baby broke his bone. Uh, met, 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 come back, come, turn around, come back. Don't, you, you gotta kiss him and make it better. You're not allowed to leave. 
Ah, yes. Kisses by Dark. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so glad we stuck around to see that Megalosaurus juggle the medical team. What the fuck was that? Now he's doing a little dance. Running in circles, having fun. Okay, cool. Carry on, carry on. Oh, the Meg is uh Yeah, we can pick out we can pick out our egg, at least. We can pick out our Meg egg. Our Meg egg. No traits, great sandy pulcrana. Double great sandy. Well, you know what? Don't say I never treated you to exactly the same base skin. At least it's a different pattern. Right? Pulcrana, not Calcarana? Well, we can't tell now. Well, I actually had plenty of disease to chase down from that sandstorm for whatever reason, so I wasn't even sitting here idle. I was actually doing shit. Alternate camera view. That is fantastic. Maybe a white pattern? Certainly a light colored pattern compared to the other one. That stark black striping. Yeah, I know we got white spots. Gray stripes, white spots. Actually, what is the base color? No, the striping is the blacker part. The base color is the gray because that's what matches. No, 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 this is the base color. Yeah, this is the, this is the pattern. Okay. Well, there it is. Megalodon 2. Uh, I sh could have picked a different base color, I guess, or removed the one from the rotation, but... Oh well, uh, they are currently happy together. No trades, aggressive, humble. Seems like it's fine, so yeah, Lagoon works. Great, these guys are 2200 appeal, which is also great. Quick peek at five. Okay, we actually just filled up like the amenities. It looks like maybe 90, 94, 94. So we got a food demand maybe here. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of food could be could be had. I'm gonna I gotta finish the park build, man. I gotta do it. I gotta gotta do the whole thing. Can't not right. 131 people. Actually, but like terrible demand. I mean, it's profitable, but at what cost? Okay, actually, do need to be donuts, uh, or not? So conditionally viable. Uh, I'm just gonna delete it. We're gonna we never did this. It's non-canon. Okay, so, well, let's look at the park from the Cenozoic end, looking back. Lovely, lovely park. If we can get the uh, the sides decorated out, this will be, like, high tier. Um, fantastic. Uh, quick map overview from the top. Nice, nice glance from the other side and a flyover, you know. We'll do a proper tour for this at some point. It might be a month, but it will happen. Oh, oh my God. Why are you why are you idiots dying? Yeah. I'm actually astounded I managed to get through this entire park without it just becoming squares. There were a couple times where we were like borderline squarifying too much shit. Hello? But uh thankfully. Thankfully we we were able to pull away from that. You know, I was able to like put the game down for a session, come back and be like and be like, okay, now now I can do this and do it right. We'll do a final population tally if I can find the other medical team. Please, 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 please. Ooh, medical toe. I don't think I even need to, but like I'm doing to. Wait, what other nerd is dying now? Oh my god, you idiots. Eat food, eat a food, please. Okay. Final population, two Aloe, two Marga, 16 Archeornithomimus, three Crylophosaurus, 12 Dimetrodon, 12 Herrerasaurus, eight Huangasaurus, 80 Lystrosaurus, 80 Lystrosaurus, insane, baffling, crazy, two Mementisaurus, four Megalosaurus, 14 Microceratus, eight Mutoburosaurus, three Polycanthus, 32 Segasaurus, should be 34, but canonically 32, two died, 
two two died during the filming of this movie six stegosaurus six thyracosaurus uh one tyrannosaurus rex and four utah raptor plus six dunk yes Steve's. 14 ichthyosaurus two megalodon and six nothosaurus by far the most aquatics we've had in a park that was not directly themed around aquatics and we have for the aviary species again uh nope nope i need the i need the hatchery for the aviary species five dimorphodon five disengoriptors five pteranodon and two thanatos dracon also probably the most pterosaurs you had in a park build that isn't directly an aviary based park build although maybe we've done one with four before that's not outside the realm of possibility um if I ever did any like crazy, like I'm sure we've had three species aviaries for sure. I remember doing that. Um, most just to try and see if it would even work. But if we've ever done like a Romualdo, all Romualdo formation pterosaurs in a park, which is efficient, right? If you're digging them up, might as well add them. Then maybe we've done three or four aviary, three or four aviary species in a build before. I don't know. All right. Well, that'll be it for this one. Uh, yeah, the channel's going to be a little sparse on content till the end of June. Um, I can't... My June is fucked. I have way too many job responsibilities this month. Temporary stuff. Stuff that, you know, will end. But it means I just have to cut a, a ton of shit back. I cannot. I have no options. So, so yeah, this will be the last park build probably until basically July. Because even if I get, like, once my temporary responsibilities end, I'll probably need to spend some time catching up on my actual work responsibilities. So there's that. So, yeah, we'll be back when I feel like I have time to do a park. But it shouldn't be. It We should have something in July. I have ideas I want to do. So this is not this is not even a burnout vacation. This is literally the tearing me away from my baby. So, yeah uh well anyway that that's the situation <laughs>